All right, so I've already done the brakes. I've showed you how to do the brakes. Um, now I'm just going to show you how to do a bearing, or actually a bearing and a grease seal. So right here is your grease seal. It's important. Uh, this one was leaking a little bit. Uh, you want to get the double-lipped grease seals for the boat, too, so it doesn't let water into your grease. Um, so I'm just going to show you how to put that grease seal in there and pop it out uh, and put the bearing in there. It's really easy. Um, it's easier, obviously, than the the, uh, the brake assembly because you don't have the brake assembly. So basically, I just put it in a vise like this. Um, let me get it down where you can see it a little better. Um, okay, let's just get that where you can see it a little better. So you just put it in the vise like that. Uh, the reason you put it like that is because uh, you want to pop this seal out and this gives you a little room under here when you pop it out. Um, let me get my stuff and then I'll show you how I pop that seal out and how we just get it ready for uh, going into the... Uh, so what I do is I there. pop the bearing sideways like this. Um, you can kind of see it sideways. And then you can get onto this lip from the other side basically now I just put that now you got to be careful of the race if you're not putting races in but these races are good then you just feel for where the seal is and once you hit that where that that rubber seal is right there uh, you just take your hammer and you just kind of pop it and it usually will come out pretty easy um, sometimes they're kind of stubborn and you'll pop through the you'll pop through the metal and then you just kind of turn it and then go on the other side of the grease seal and it'll it'll come out eventually she'll just pop out and that seal will come out eventually um, just keep kind of going around and you just keep doing that and eventually she'll pop out at least hopefully so that's all and then once I get it out I'll show you okay so now we out. just bent it in a little bit we're gonna give it one good whack and it should come out Oops, there we go felt like it came out let's see and it did and there's your seal. So your seal's out now. So that old seal, that one was actually a little tougher than normal. Um, so now you've got your, clean this out a little so you can see in there. So now you've got your, your race in there. You've got where your seal goes in here. And then I'll show you how you install that seal. I'll be right back with you and we'll install that seal. Okay, so let's get this over here. Okay, so now I've pre greased this bearing. And you can kind of see it. Uh, I just put as much grease as I can get. Now, you don't want to forget to put your bearing in. Because if you're bearing, you know, if you forget your bearing, you'll have to take the seal out again and it'll be ruined pretty much. Um, so. All you need for this is your seal installer. I'm actually using an inch and a quarter, inch and a half socket. Um, because you can see, here's my seal. It goes right on the lip of that seal. See, so you don't want to, you don't want to damage this at all. Um, if you do, it's not good. You're not gonna, you're not gonna like what happens. Um, so basically, you just get the, you line the seal up so it's, So it's just, you know, so it's straight. It's got to go in straight. And that's what the, where the socket, you know, where, where the seal installer is going to help. So I just kind of line that up and you just kind of tap it. It's high on this side right here. So I'm going to tap there first just to get it to go. And once you get it going, there, now it's going. So it's going straight. Now you just tap it in straight. I'll show you how you know it's in. Um, and there, she's she's in. Um, so 
so now what you're looking for is right in here there's like this little secondary lip and that's where that that seal it meets the race in here so now it's all the way and you're done now you just install it back onto the spindle uh, don't forget to grease the spindle and that's all there is to it real simple and then you just reattach the tire and you're done uh, you got a nice new bearing new seal uh, and you're good to go thanks for watching